In the previous segment, we learned how to draw maps. In this segment, we will learn how to draw plots where we can interactively change the features of the drawn plot. To demonstrate this, we will use default R dataset IDs. We attach the IDs data to be able to call the columns of this data directly as vectors. Previously, we used RGL package to be able to just rotate the 3D plots. In this segment, we will use iplots package to show how to control some of the interactive features of R plots drawn via the package. Let us see how. First, let us see the identify feature of the basic R plot. We can identify any data by clicking on the data. Based on the identification information, we can pull the information from the data to take a closer look at the identified observation. Let us install and load the package iplots. We can draw a bar plot using ibar function. Using menu, we can rotate it to get a horizontal bar plot. We can also apply various color palettes by selecting it from the view menu. We can also sort the bar by count. We can draw a box plot using iBox function. Using menu, we can rotate it to get horizontal box plot. We can also hide and show grids or axis. We can also sort the box plots by count or other values from menu. Using menu, you can rotate it, can apply various color palettes by selecting it from the view menu. We can also change bandwidth levels by pressing up or down button in the keyboard. iPlot function can be used to draw scatter plots. IAB line function can draw regression line fit inside the plot. Similarly, I lines function can be used to draw overlay line such as lowest fit line in the same plot. I text function puts text inside the plot. Background axis range can be changed from the menu. Pressing up or down button in the keyboard, we can also control the size of the points in the plot. To recover the data used to draw the last plot, we can use the iplot.data function. Similarly, imap function can draw map objects. Parts of the map can be selected and colored. Border lines can be toggled. Parallel coordinates plots can be drawn using IPCP function. All these plots can be saved from the menu in a local file. In summary, we can use various functions from iplots package to interactively control various features of a plot even after drawing it. Now, you will be able to draw and control interactive plots in R. In the next segment, we will learn how to use R Commander.